Well, you know, there's nothing more beautiful, is there, than a good drum solo. I know it fills some people with dread, but you just can't beat sitting on a thing like this. LB, it belongs to somebody called LB. Must be somebody famous. I think I, I, think I can help you out, maybe show you how to do that. Okay. Well, it better be good. All right, okay. You can bet it's going to be good. Louis Belson's one of the jazz greats. He's 67, plays like 27. Louis invented the double bass drum, played with jazz royalty Duke, Count and Earl. Not only that, he's not just a drummer, he also composed for Duke Ellington. The drums have come into their own. I mean, they used to consider us noise makers. We are now sound makers, and we are an integral part of the band and orchestra. They can't get along without us. He's a mild-mannered man, but tells some people you're a drummer, and they look twice. Yeah, you know, people always used to say, well, what a nice guy Lou is, but when I get behind the drums, I become a gorilla, you know? <laughs> I think I get all my inhibitions out on the drum set. players that, uh, that that good man upstairs gave me the ability to play and, and do something that I like to play you know I see that guy taking the lunch pail to the hall to the factory sometime and I know he's gonna be doing eight hours or something he don't like to do but with me it's fun time again yeah, you have those I don't need them anymore <laughs> thanks <laughs> <laughs> Great, Louis. Louis Belson, the master, with Dylan Tate, the novice.